What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle Concept video. Except this one's going to be a little bit different because instead of me completely making a celebration from scratch, like one that we haven't had, this celebration is actually confirmed that being the Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo one for New Year's. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but we did get official confirmation that we're getting an LR. At least, well, okay, right now what we know for sure is that it's LR Ultimate Gohan and uh, Power Awakened Piccolo. Well, I just I like to call them both Ultimate. So Ultimate Gohan and Ultimate Piccolo, but like in Legends, he's Power Awakened. So going off of that, I decided to make this video pretty much as like my prediction for what this celebration could look like. Like mostly focusing on what units we might get really. But so like I said, if this go, hold on, there we go. All right, so like I said, uh, we got these are the official arts for that Gohan and Piccolo. So the reason I think we are gonna get Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo is because I'm like I'm I'm like ninety percent sure these are transforming units. Obviously, we don't have official confirmation of that, and there's been a lot of de debate about it online. But just the fact that like Orange Piccolo shows up in the background here, and Beast Gohan does too. Like the Beast Gohan resembles a lot of Gogeta Blue and Broly for during that movie celebration when the Broly movie came out. They had them in the background like this too. Obviously the Orange Piccolo one's a little different because I might put it on screen because uh, on my slideshow here it's not actually animated but uh, the art for this is kind of like LR Janemba's where it'll it like zooms in basically and has this picture of Orange Piccolo and also one of Beast Gohan. So people are, are kind of debating on if these units will transform or not because of that. You know, like it's showing Beast Go on an Orange Piccolo pre like transformation, but we've also gotten that with like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you know, like he has art that shows up that's him when it's just Goku and Vegeta and then there's the actual fusion art when he fuses. So I think these units are going to be transforming personally because that makes the most sense. So that is what we're going off of here. So everything I'm going to show you is going off the assumption that these units are transforming. So first. I'm going to show off what I think their intro animations could be because I don't think they're I feel like it makes too much sense for them to have intro an ugh, animations. Uh, one thing though I want to know is none of these videos have audio just because of like copyright problems I didn't want to run into those. So none of the videos have audio. So first let's start with Ultimate Gohan's intro. So I think it'll just be this scene right here from Super Hero when he just you know obviously goes into Ultimate because this just looks so clean. I I'm just imagining this in Dokkan already so it'll just be pretty simple. They could add a few extra scenes to it because as you can see like Piccolo's intro is way longer. That's because of the scene I chose which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but yeah so Gohan's intro would just be him transforming into ultimate like from the movie. And then Piccolo's will be him summoning Shinron actually. And that's because this scene where he summons Shinron is actually the first time we see his form. Uh, his ultimate form. It's kind of like hard like if you're just watching the movie for the first time you may not realize it especially because you can't see his arms and that's like the big key thing that you know Piccolo's transformed is his arms but here you see like Shinron awakens his power and then he's actually more yellow so that's the first time we see him transform you could also argue though that they'll use the scene from when he uh transforms against Gamma 2 when they actually start fighting they could use that but I feel like the Dragon Ball one makes more sense just because it's also a longer scene and I feel like it would just make for a better intro than just Piccolo like crossing his arms and transforming you know uh so yeah that's the intro animation so next we're gonna get into uh, the 12 and 18 keys for Ultimate Gohan. So uh, I just kind of pulled scenes from the movie and just kind of made my own attacks. That's if you haven't seen my other Dokkan concept, concept videos, that's what I do. I kind of just like put scenes together to try to make a super attack. I don't really like use just an entire scene. You'll see what I mean here. So for Gohan, he'll do like this punch, do a couple more punches, a kick, and then do that chop and then grab you into the suplex. The reason I chose the suplex though is just because. It was funny that he just, I feel like, I think Gohan did it like two or three times in the movie. He was just suplexing Gamma 1 <laughs> for some reason. So I just thought that would be a funny super attack. And, you know, it's something that actually happened in the movie. So I think that could work. Uh, and then his, I don't know, like, I don't have names and all that. If you're looking for, I do want to say this really quick. If you're looking for concepts of, like, their kits and all of that, I don't really do that because that's, like, a lot of work. And I don't know how, it's not just because it's a lot of work. I just don't know how I'd articulate that, you know? I prefer to look more at like what I think they'll use as reference material. I, I like I enjoy doing that more than actually trying to come up with kits and all that. Just because like I, I have been playing the game since it came out, so I feel like I could, but I just don't want to. Uh, other people can do that, and we'll see their kits when they drop, obviously. But I like to focus more on like animations and 
all that kind of thing. So that's what we're doing here. So, and then obviously the end is just like the groundbreaking, just like, you know, Dokkan likes to do these dramatic impact, like just to show how much the impact was there. So yeah, that's the 12 key. So then the 18 key, you're gonna do that kick, the punch into a kick, and then do a Kamehameha. Now, I pulled from Kakara, and obviously I'm just showing the Beast Gohan thing there. I mostly showed that just to show that um, in Legends, Beast Gohan does in fact do a Kamehameha, so I don't think they'll be against using it, especially for Ultimate Gohan. But the reason I pulled from Kakarot is because I could have pulled the scene from the Tournament of Power where he does a Kamehameha, but we also technically kind of have that already with the Tech, Gohan, and Piccolo unit from, I think, year 6? Yeah, year 6. Uh, the Tech, Piccolo, and Gohan. That was on the UI Goku's banner. Uh, but I pulled from Kakarot because we know that Dokkan isn't against doing that because of STR Vegito. They pulled from Kakarot before. So I feel like pulling a Kamehameha from Kakarot, especially because this isn't even like a cutscene or anything. It's just whenever you stun the enemy, a special animation plays. So I think pulling a Kamehameha from there would work. There is also one in the movie, but I didn't use that one because there's something later that I used that for. So we'll, we'll talk about it when we get there. But there is actually technically a Kamehameha in the movie when Gohan's a Super Saiyan while it's raining. So they could also use that, but I pulled from Kakarot just so they had like a different material to use because like I said I used that Kamehameha animation later on. Alright so then next we're gonna get into what Piccolo's 12 and 18 keys can be or could be. So the 12 key is pretty simple he's just gonna do you know that punch like that iconic punch into the building and then do this rock attack. Now I'm using this because Legends actually which you'll actually see here in a second Legends uses that move for Piccolo's blue card and also shout out to the people who uploaded are the person who uploaded the legends in uh widescreen like this like in landscape mode i will put links to the description in that because i did use their footage here um just because it looks nicer for the video like you saw the last one the beast gohan i used it was just normal legends gameplay that's just because uh i couldn't find a video of beast gohan's uh kamehameha because that's his ultimate attack when you don't get an lf but every other video i found was him doing the lf so I couldn't find a landscape for that one, but I will put it in the description because I think Legends of the Landscape looks dope. Um, yeah, it just looks cool and it was better for putting together scenes. But yeah, so this just rock attack. I forgot what it's called in Legends, but I'm, I would imagine they would use the same name here. And it's just something Ultimate Pickle actually does. So I feel like this is fitting, you know, just him throwing the rock, especially for like a 12 key. I think that works. Now his 18 key, you can kind of already tell. But it's going to be him doing his iconic special beam cannon, which I, it's like red. I like to call it the flaming beam cannon, but obviously it's not that. And obviously, once again, I use legends here, the the landscape legends, just because in the movie, Piccolo doesn't actually hit Gamma with it like this. Uh, Gamma 2 just like puts up a shield and blocks and the beams go flying everywhere. But in legends, he actually hits uh, Gamma 2 with it. And I put this... Uh, just because it actually makes more sense for Ultimate Piccolo, because you're probably thinking, like, why didn't I use it for Beast Gohan? Because, okay, it's pretty obvious what Beast Gohan's going to have for one of his attacks, right? Like, it makes too much sense. Because um, I even could have used this for, like, Orange Piccolo's, like, active skill or whatever. But since Ultimate Piccolo was the one who did it, I feel like it made more sense. And that that's also why I gave Gohan a Kamehameha, because them both having beam supers just... I felt like that fit better than them... Like, if I gave uh, Ultimate Gohan just, like him doing like regular punches and kicks like some weird like some combo or whatever but like him doing an actual beam made the most sense so yeah uh so yeah so piccolo is gonna have the special beam cannon and it's actually gonna connect that's the whole point of gamma 2 here uh, i also love how like cleanly it transitioned from the movie to legends but uh all right so next we're gonna show off the transformation so like I said, I'm running under the assumption that Gohan and Piccolo are going to go Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. Some people think it's just going to be like an active skill attack. I think they actually will transform. So going under that assumption, for Gohan transformation, it's again, pretty obvious. Just going to be the scene where he actually goes Beast. Say so he's going to just... Oh my god, it looks so good, bro. <laughs> like it, it looks so clean, Gohan going Beast. Yeah, it'll just literally be that scene. And then, you know, we'll show the eye and then him standing there. And then he will like look up, which uh, I did it this way just because it's, um, I guess, a little closer to what uh, AGL SHA2 Gohan's transformation was like. So I was kind of running off of that. That's why I showed this scene at like the transformation ends at Gohan looking up like that. They could have also used that scene of him like smirking or whatever, or even just ended it right here where he's just standing there. 
But based on how, like, I could have ended it here, but based on how Dokkan likes to do things, I think this shot, like, of him looking up will definitely be in it. Probably will have a line with it as well. But, yeah, I just kind of base it off of that. So, obviously, though, it'll just be that scene. The main part is, like, the whole red line going through and all that, yeah. So, then we'll look at Piccolo's transformation, which, again, should also be obvious. It's just the scene where he falls. And then Shinron actually will pop up here, too, which I think the Shinron scene should definitely be part of the transformation. It should be Shinron, then it loops into the tree, and then it's just this huge explosion of key into the orange Piccolo. And then, yeah, it just zooms in on his face. And that's pretty much it, because uh, after that, he just kind of walks up and punches Gamma, too. So they, they'll probably like add some lines or whatever here. But yeah, I think that'll be Piccolo's transformation. I just really hope they add in the Shinron scene. It'd be kind of cool, though, if his intro and his actual transformation involve Shinron. Cause that, that, I think that would just be cool, cause just using more Shinron as like animations. But all right, now we're going to get into their art. So this is what I think Beast Gohan's like card art might be. Uh, obviously, we don't have official art. So I used the Special Beam Cannon one here just because I think that would just look really cool as LR art, right? Uh, but I also have, again, that scene where he's just standing there because... Remember in the background of the Ultimate Gohan art, you do see Beast Gohan standing there. And a lot of times, whatever art you see in the background is what they actually use for the card. So I think that like once they transform, they actually use that for the card. Like look at, uh, again, going back to the Broly movie celebration, Gogeta, Blue, and Broly. Both of them had like their full power. Like Gogeta had Super Saiyan Blue in the background. It was a Super Saiyan Gogeta with Blue in the background. Then Super Saiyan Broly had full power Broly in the background, and those were the exact arts that they used. So I feel like they could also do the same thing here. Um, now, Orange Piccolo, I obviously didn't do the same thing. Kind of like if this left one is kind of similar enough to it, you know? I just think that this shot here looks cooler. But um, I, the only reason I didn't use it is because it literally is like a... Because with Beast Gohan, the Beast Gohan that's in the background, and if I put the anime, if I remember to put the animation for the card in, and the, like that Beast Gohan that shows up during the card animation are two different ones. Whereas for Piccolo, it's the same one that shows up in the background. So I feel like there could be a third art there too. Since Beast Gohan technically has, or since Gohan has like three arts, the ultimate, the beast in the background, and then the beast that shows up in the front. Whereas Piccolo just has ultimate and then the one orange Piccolo that shows up in the front too. So I feel like that art for the ones in the front isn't going to be the transformation art. So that's why for Orange Piccolo I went with something different. Even though technically I just said the, what they use in the background is typically what it is. But it's a little bit different in this case. So again I have this scene where he's like looking down. I just think that looks cool. And then this art just because he's like doing an attack you know. It's just you know a cool looking shot here also. So now let's get into their super attack. So for Beast Gohan's 12 key I have him... I used a lot from like the Gamma 1 fight, so he's going to do a bunch of these kicks and then some punches. And then I actually pulled from Super here uh, because I think this scene with the like he punches you and then it has like this electricity and explosion effect. I think that's really fitting for Beast Gohan. Um, but the reason I pulled from this though was to show because I've seen a lot of people making the argument that Beast Gohan won't be trans be well, Beast and Piccolo won't be transforming because they don't have enough reference material. But I feel like like th that just doesn't make sense. When you look at, like, okay, look at Super Gogeta, for example, the tech one. For that unit, they pulled from everywhere in the show. They pulled from Goku versus Majin Vegeta for before they actually fuse. Like, okay, Gogeta in the movie shows up for, like, five like five seconds and just beats Janemba. That's all that happens. Yet they still made a whole unit out of that. So I feel like there's it doesn't make any sense to say that Beast Gohan and Piccolo... Uh, don't have enough material for them to make a unit when literally they showed up longer than Gogeta did <laughs> and Even then like uh, like you can kind of see it on the right that I pulled from like a game here, but tech Gogeta uh, When he his 12 key like when he actually fuses into super Gogeta his 12 key literally pulls from heroes like the anime for heroes, so That's all just to say that they have plenty of reference material And I don't know why people think it only has to be from the movie when Dokkan countless times pulls from stuff outside of the, the original thing the unit came from. Like Gogeta, for, like again, Tech Gogeta didn't only pull from Fusion Reborn. So I don't know why people are saying they don't have enough reference material. Especially when even in that movie, Gohan fought in Super Saiyan and in Ultimate. So there's more screen time with that than we even got for, Tech, for Gogeta. So I don't know what that logic is there. But that's why I pulled from Super here for this punch. Obviously they could pull other stuff from the movie that I didn't show. 
Uh, but I just think I just thought that this punch looked cool from Super, like, and I think it was just really fitting for Beast Gohan, especially as a 12 key. Uh, yeah, so then his 18 key is just literally ripped straight out of Heroes. And again, shout out to the people or the person who uploaded the Heroes gameplay because I did use it like a couple, a few times. So I'll also link those in the description. But basically, uh, he does a scatter Kamehameha, which you might think is weird. And I actually wasn't going to pick it at first until I watched the whole thing. Because it's not just scatter Kamehameha, it's, it's, it's a special version. I don't know if other characters and heroes have this or if this is Beast Gohan specific. Either way, it looks so cool with all like these blue beams. And then at the end, if you look at the bottom, the key blast like curving into the enemy. I think that is very, very fitting for Beast Gohan. And again, they this is literally in Heroes, so they can pull this for reference material. Now, people might be a little worried about the quality. Because if you look at the Heroes collab units, they usually, if they're pulling super attacks from Heroes, it doesn't usually look too great because it's not like an actual anime reference, but I feel like they might be able to pull it off, especially with this being Beast Gohan. I think they know they have to go all out with this, you know, but um, obviously though, they, they could just do something else for Beast Gohan if these are transforming units anyways. I just wanted to put this here mainly to show that there's plenty of reference material and pe people keep saying there isn't enough. When I disagree completely, I think they have more than enough reference material for Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, so yeah, but like I said, I wasn't even going to use this Katakawe High at first, but it looks so cool. Like, you saw all the blue effects and all that? Oh my god. Anyways, though, let's move on to Orange Piccolo now. So, I think a good 12 key for Orange Piccolo would be this scene against Gamma 2, where he's just fighting him, and then shoots out a bunch of these key blasts. Now, technically Orange Piccolo in the movie doesn't actually shoot any key blasts, as far as I remember. Uh, but I still think that this scene would be cool for Orange Piccolo specifically, especially because, you know, pow uh, Ultimate Piccolo already had two good moves, like literally both of the ones from Legends, uh, the the Rock Attack and then the Special Beam Cannon. But I feel like doing like these key blasts works for Orange Piccolo. Okay, sorry if there was a weird audio cut there, my <laughs> mic uh, muted by accident, so I have to re-record this part. But um, yeah, so I talked about what Piccolo's 12 key would be, so it's 18 key would be this so he just does like this little combo like some kicks and then he goes into this punch the reason i use this punch though is because well first of all it just looks cool oh, excuse me but it's also because it reminds me a lot of the str lr vegeto blue that um you know the free to play one it reminds me of that so i figured if that could be a super attack then this could be as well obviously they'd probably make it longer and do more with it but yeah, so, so like it'll, they'll probably add more to then to the combo than just like the kicks that I put here. And obviously Piccolo is giant here, but I think it's since it's still orange Piccolo, they can always repurpose it for him. The next we're gonna get into Gohan and Piccolo's nullification because I think that these units will have that. Uh, just because there's a, like some iconic scenes in the movie that involve them like just tanking an attack or like nullifying it and then countering. So first for Beast Gohan is you know pretty obvious the scene where Cell Max tries to punch him and he stops him with his aura and then he just goes right into this like, just sick kick it just looks so sick and then after that he'll have this little just this little smirk at the end because I think that's just fitting and again it's another iconic scene another thing that they could use because why not but yeah I think that you know he gets punched but then he just grabs your fist pushes it back and then just kicks you in the chest like I, I think that that's a good that would be a really sick for a nullification or a counter it could be both a nullification and a counter but i think it at least should be a counter you know um so now we're gonna get into orange piccolo here which his is again pretty obviously the scene where gamma 2 tries to punch him and then piccolo just one shots him just knocks him into the ground and yeah well, gamma 2 is like done for uh again like i said i feel like these could be nullifications and counters uh just because you know it's beast going and orange piccolo that's that would be really good depending on the conditions for it you know it could just be like any super attack or something like that. Could you imagine they do something crazy and it's like any basic attack, they nullify and counter it? So not only are they countering, they're also taking literally zero damage. And then on top of that, they can counter like supers or something. <laughs> that, I don't know, it would be crazy. Um, so next, we're going to get into the active skills. So you probably, again, this is, this is where I put for Gohan, obviously, the special beam cannon. Because I'm running... I put, for the, the way I'm building these units, they'll have active skills after they transform. Just like the LR Gods and the LR SSJ4s, just because it makes the most sense. 
uh it would be the most hype if you ask me but especially because the special beam cannon if it's an active means it'll be voiced and i need that special beam cannon voice and then right here actually at the end is the ko screen so that scene where he's got like his fingers out that that would be the ko screen but i think the special beam cannon being the active skill over the 18 key for beast gohan makes so much more sense oh and really quick i wanted to say with orange piccolo um well let's just show off his active really quick first uh so his active skill is going to be him going giant and then in the movie he did wrap his arm like around cell max so he'll do that into a mouth blast which again shout out to the guy who was posting the heroes videos because they were very good for my purposes here today um yeah so that that would be piccolo's active skill him going giant unless they just want to straight up make it make it a giant transformation you know like kind of like a you know like how grade a baby works where it's kind of like the rage mechanic i think is what they like to call it um so they could do something like that and then maybe use like a different reference for the super attack or something i don't know how they would do it but just going off of you know them having if i'm trying to make the units pretty similar so if they just have actives after they transform i think gohan's being the special beam cannon would be the best option as like a finishing move especially because that's how he that's why i didn't make it the 18 key either actually is because it was more of a finishing move in the movie which i mean beast gohan in his entirety was just a finishing move but uh especially the special beam cannon so i think that being an active that you use to like finish a fight would be for the best as long as the condition for it isn't bad like i feel like they'll, they'll probably make it easy and just make it be like if your enemy's below like 50 percent hp or something and you can do your active um and what, one thing I wanted to bring up with Piccolo, though, that I was going to mention is for his 18 key, I didn't give him the special beam cannon just because, even though that would match, um, or actually, no, I meant for his active skill, sorry. Uh, for the active skill, I could have given him the special beam cannon there as well, uh, or even on his 18 key, actually. Uh, but I feel like it made more sense to give that to Ultimate Piccolo, just because he was the one who actually did it. But I think it would be... Like, if I gave him the special beam cannon as his active, though, it would kind of work just because, you know, comparing Gohan's active to Piccolo going giant, it's like, you know, night and day comparison. But if I give him special, if I gave Piccolo special beam cannon as, as his active, that could also work. So they could, some of the animations I'm putting here, they might switch around for where it is in the unit. But I think these would be the scenes that make the most sense to use. And then again, like I was saying with Beast, like, there's so much reference material. They can literally pull from heroes and even stuff from Super. Which I didn't really look into that for Piccolo because he didn't really do as much. But there are probably still things they could pull from Super to use for Piccolo. But before we move on to the next segment of this video, I want to talk about another nullification encounter. Because I think, again, this is at the bottom of this like first segment just because I think these are the least likely to happen. But, so Gohan would have the nullification. This would be Ultimate Gohan. He would have a nullification of Key Blast Super, so he would do that. And I'm just like, imagine how crazy it would be if these units had key, or not key, had nullifications, encounters. I guess, you know what? Maybe before they transform, it's just a nullification. And then after they transform, it would be a nullification and a counter. So they're doing damage while they nullify it. That could be how that works, which I think would actually be fine. It'd be pretty cool and like broken if they can nullify and count. Like they nullify at first, which even that by itself is broken because they'd be taking zero damage. And then after they transform, they nullify and counter. But let's look at Piccolo's really quick, just to show you. This is basically just his cover change from Legends, which if you haven't played Legends, the cover change is basically this animation that plays when you have your one of your units come and save your other unit from a combo. So Piccolo will like, you know, come in and then like block the attack and then do like that punch in the kick. That's what they do in Legends for uh, Ultimate Piccolo also, so yeah. But I think the way the only caveat to this though is the Gohan uh, count nullification I use here for Ultimate Gohan is a Key Blast one. So I guess you could say it'd be weird if like the it's like you know Gohan's is a Key Blast before transforming Piccolo's a Strike, but then after they transform they would both have Strike Super Counters. But I guess maybe the way they could do it is have Gohan have Key before transforming, and then Piccolo have Strike before transforming, and then have them switch. So have. Gohan have strike and then Piccolo have key after they transform and maybe for Piccolo's it could just be like you know you shoot a key blast at him and he just kind of tanks it maybe he has like that scene where he's looking down like a gamma 2 instead of like him doing a punch or maybe he could still do a punch but it would just be a key blast instead I don't know but I just feel like these would also be good scenes that they could use but these are, these are at the bottom because again maybe they'll want to save these for like future units like they might do 
a standalone Beast Gohan or a standalone Orange Piccolo and they want to use nullifications for them at some point. But to that I say, you know, like, people might say they don't want to waste all the seeds and all the materials they have here, but I would say that there's probably a good chance, though, by the time they would drop a standalone Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, that we would already have more reference material for them, whether that be like, I don't know, maybe Kakarot will get DLC for Super at some point, uh, or we'll get, you know, maybe the next console game, like maybe like a Fighters 2, or, you know, even Xenoverse should be getting them in uh, as DLCs pretty soon. So, you know, they could, because we know Xenoverse loves making up their own attacks, so maybe they could even use that for standalone LRs, you know, something like that could happen. But we'll just have to see what they do. Because uh, again, this is all running under the assumption that they're transforming in the first place, which I believe that they will be. So, next we're going to get into the side banner units, which I mean, if you've been playing Dokkan, you know what a side banner unit is. But in case you don't, every time, so this Piccolo and Gohan coming out, they're a Dokkan fest. So they're the main unit, they're going to have the new stage of the event, they're like the main character. And then they kind of have side characters that come with them. Um, so like, for example... Um, if you were playing during the anniversary, uh, the LR Gods had a Broly side banner unit, and then the Super Saiyan 4s had a Sin Shinron side banner unit. So it's just kind of like an extra unit that comes with them that's supposed to kind of just work well, like on their team. Or, you know, just be like another character to introduce. Just have more new units, but they're not like the big main LRs, they're just like TURs. So I think the obvious first pick is Pan. Uh, especially because, you know, this movie was a big focus around her too and like introducing us to Pan because, you know, this is technically the first time we really get to see Pan. I mean, obviously there's the end of Z and then when she was a baby, but this is the most time we've ever gotten with Pan. So yeah, this movie was basically pretty pretty centered around Pan. So I feel like she would fit. And then obviously there's also the fact that Legends, the only three units they put from Super Hero, well, besides Gamma 1 and 2 before the movie even came out, the only ones they put in like on this last collab that they did was Beast Gohan, uh, Ultimate Piccolo, actually, not even Orange Piccolo, and then Pan. So I feel like the fact they picked those three, Pan is all, like a very good choice for this. So yeah, so then the next unit they could use is I think Goten and Trunks would actually be really fitting for a couple reasons. One, you could argue that maybe like Krillin and 18 could get a unit, but I feel like Goten and Trunks are more hype, especially because in this movie they have new designs, and it's kind of like the same thing as I was saying with Pan. This is our introduction to this version of Goten and Trunks like they're completely new they're almost essentially new characters in in this movie you know because we haven't seen Trunks like I mean Trunks kind of not because we had like you know Trunks from Super who had the blue hair and all that but Goten is basically you know completely new um especially for Dokkan you know like he, we've never had a uh, teen Trunks I mean unless you count like GT Goten but uh, GT uh we, we haven't had like an end of Z Goten for example so I think Goten and Trunks would be fitting here and I feel like they also just have some really good scenes that they could use for them and I think this art would also be really cool. Uh, and I'll, oh, also I should mention Pan would be on Gohan's banner I feel like just because that's literally his daughter and they'd be on like similar categories. But Goten and Trunks I feel like would fit better on Piccolo's banner but you could argue vice versa because Piccolo trained Pan in the movie and then Goten is Gohan's brother and they're all hybrid Saiyans you know like there's arguments for both well I guess Pan's a hybrid Saiyan too but um I think Pan being on Gohan's banner makes more sense though um just because that's literally his daughter even if Piccolo was training her you know Piccolo's more just like a warrior I mean he he does like kind of raise quote-unquote Pan but I think Gohan and Pan because that's literally again her father I think that would fit better so yeah, so I think this would be good art, and I think Goten and Trunks are probably the best pick from the movie other than Pan. Also because if you keep up with the manga, the newest arc right now, that like literally the chapter 4, it just came out, the first chapter, it's a very focused arc, it seems like, on Goten and Trunks. So this, I feel like, would be kind of like a pseudo way to promote that. Obviously not directly, because Dokkan doesn't actually get into manga stuff usually. But I feel like this would be kind of a pseudo way to promote, like, hey, this new arc, or maybe it would be more like a way to capitalize off the new arc that it is this new Goten and Trunks that came out and people are going to know who they are because of this manga arc. Especially people like who maybe haven't seen the movie, for example. Uh, well, I mean, obviously Dokkan would be spoiling everything anyways, but they would at least, you know, have a pretty good understanding of like Goten and Trunks and like, yeah, it'd be like a way to capitalize on that. So now I bring this part up because again, I keep going back to the Broly movie celebration, but... Back when the Broly movie came out, obviously, you know, they had a Dokkan Fest and all that too, but I bring this up because, if you notice, 
Gogeta and Broly both have two sidebander units, so not just one. So Gogeta came with, you know, the tech god Goku, who was like one of the best units in the game of all time. Uh, and then the STR god Vegeta, and then Broly came with, you know, AGO Wrathful or Ikari Broly, uh, and then Int Paragus and Broly. So both of them had two sidebearing units, so I feel like there's at least a chance that the Beast Gohan and Piccolo banners also get two sidebearing units. So if they do, my next two picks as sidebearing units would be Magenta, just because he was kind of pretty much the main villain of the movie. More like the, I guess more like the mastermind because Cell Max is like the quote-unquote main villain. But Magenta was like more of the mastermind behind all this and I just feel like getting a unit for him would be pretty funny. And then also Dr. Hedo just because it's Dr. Hedo, you know. He, like if any, if there's anyone who, like I guess that's a villain technically. Because I, I feel like these two would be extreme class which would also be a, one reason why they might not do two side banner units because other than these two, I couldn't think of anyone else who could get a unit Except for, you know, like I was mentioning before, like maybe 18 and Krillin, but like I don't think anyone would really care about them. Uh, I feel like Hedo and Magento people might like more, because 18 and Krillin don't really do that much in the movie. Um, so I think Hedo and Magento make the most sense. Uh, the only thing is they'd be extreme class, and I don't know what categories they'd fit in. Well, I guess Magenta, you could put him on artificial life forms, right? Because his body is literally like modified with like you know the armor and all that but i guess technically that would make him more like an android i don't know it's kind of weird and then even dr hedo though he mentions in the movie how his skin is modified to like tank bullets basically so he can't like he pretty much can't die um so i guess you could argue they're on like artificial life forms like androids or something like that or maybe they, they make a new category like modified humans or something i don't know but i feel like that would also like if they do that that would be a good way to fit them with the gammas so that would be, which would also make the most sense, you know, them being on the team with the Gammas. Just because Gammas lead androids and artificial life forms, I think, respectively. Like, I think Gamma 1 is artificial life forms and Gamma 2 is androids. So I think having these guys be extreme class going with the Gammas, I feel like if they take those lines as like a technicality to put them on those categories, I think it makes sense. Uh, but, anyways, let's get into what the super attacks would be now. So, Pans. Again, pretty similar to what what they did in Legends, but she'll do like these two kicks, or like that kick and the elbow into her iconic kick, and just, you know, launch you into the rock, or whatever. Like, I just kind of like to do like the impacts, just because that's what Dokkan does, and it'd be weird to end it like abruptly. Um, so I think doing this would be cool, you know, having Pan do like her kick, like her two, two kicks. Uh, they could even use the scene where she like, uh, again, if you play Legends, Pan's cover change could also be included in that which from the movie that was the scene when she punched that red ribbon army soldier in the stomach like after dodging him really quick they could include that in there as well but i think at least getting her iconic kick is for the best and then goten and trunks i think their super attack would go so hard so they would start off you know flying in and then they you know again they're flying in and then they shoot out this iconic key blast that scene was sick they do a bunch more key blasts and goten actually does a kamehameha here which I feel like what they would do to change that is just have it be Goten and Trunks both doing a Kamehameha, which I don't think would be like a big change they need to make, you know? Um, I don't think it'd be a big deal, but it's just a way to give both units something to do at the end, instead of just having it be Goten. That, that would be more like Goten with like a Trunks assist, but I think this super attack would go hard, especially this scene where they're shooting the Key Blast here is just iconic. It was really good looking. So yeah, I think that would be their super attack. And then next we have Magenta. So Magenta's was actually a pretty simple one to come up with. It's just, you know, he'd probably start by like flexing, showing off his body, like his robotic body. And then he does this punch, which is the punch that he actually does to awaken Cell Max. I feel like that punch was good enough for it to be a super attack. You know, I think that it works as a super attack. Uh, and then next for Dr. Hedo, I kind of went more of like a comedic route with his. So he'll start off by like going into his hero uniform like this and pulling out his gun. But he actually fakes you out and the wasp will come in and sting you. And then this is like the killing screen here where he's got the wasp like on his finger like that. This screen right here that you're seeing where it's like he's got the wasp on his finger. I think that would be cool for like where the damage numbers show up and all that. I think that would just be a cool little super attack. But obviously that would be assuming they even put Dr. Hedo in the game, <laughs> you know? Because they, they typically don't like to just put like regular humans as units in the game. Uh, cause technically, well, I guess 
you know regular quote unquote i just mean like because hedo and magenta aren't really regular humans because they are modified uh, i just meant more of like people who can't like shoot key blasts and fly around they typically don't like to put them as units uh, i guess the exception would be recently they put yajirobi you know uh, as a unit so i guess they might be more willing to now but again this is going off the assumption if they even do two side banner units which i kind of wouldn't expect but I just wanted to mention it here because I just think that would be a funny super attack to see in the game. Like, I'd actually love that if they put this in the game. Uh, Alright, so then next we're going to get into what I think the free-to-play units could be. So starting off, uh, again, this is also kind of based on, like, this one again is another thing I kind of based on the Broly movie celebration for the free-to-play units. So first would be this Goku, obviously just Goku from the Broly movie. Uh, he would just be base Goku because he doesn't actually transform at all in the movie. Uh, so it would just be a base Goku that starts off with that promo, which I don't know why it's so low quality right now, but yeah, it would just be like, you've seen like, you've probably seen that promo art for the movie before, it's Goku standing there. They, it's funny, they use Goku as a lot of promo for the movie, but he doesn't really do anything besides like fighting Vegeta. It's like a Gohan and Piccolo movie, but it's because it's Goku, he's the main character, so of course they had to advertise him, and he is in the movie, so it wasn't really wrong to do that. Um, and then I think that this promo picture on the right where he's doing the Kamehameha would be good TUR. I don't think I mentioned it before, actually. Uh, for pretty much every character, except for the LRs, because the LRs, I was only considering the LR art. Uh, but for like the free-to-play units and the side banner units, I the way I did it was the left side would be their SSR art, and then the right side is their TUR art. Uh, I just feel like that would be the best way to do it. Uh, then next we have Vegeta here, which, you know, since I gave Goku the Gallic Gun, or, <laughs> I gave Goku the Kamehameha, excuse me, I would, I gave Vegeta, like, this Gallic Gun pose that he's doing, and then, I think that art where he's crossing his arms kind of fits well with, uh, you know, with Goku's art, it's kind of like a nice parallel there. Uh, so, you know, Goku, Vegeta is the second unit, and then Broly would be the third side banner unit. I'd use that scene of him crying just because I think that'd be funny SSR art. Um, and then obviously there's like this promo picture of him like stanced up. I think that would be, again, cool TUR art. And uh, so like the reason I say I based this off of the last of last year's celebration is because Goku, Vegeta, and Broly were also all free to play units last year. The only thing I didn't include was a Frieza because Frieza's not in the movie. Uh, and then maybe they could, they could also do like Magenta or they could even do like if they're gonna put Magenta and Hedo on the banner, maybe Carmine could get. A unit, I just don't know what his super attack would be, that's why I didn't include him on the list. But, yeah, I think that this would be, these would be good um, free-to-play units, especially, because like I said, it's kind of mirroring what happened with the Broly movie celebration, where it was literally Goku, Vegeta, Broly that got free-to-play units, so yeah. So then next, I also gave them their own super attacks, so first, Goku's would be this iconic scene where he like rushes in. That he just does some punches and then like shatters the tree or whatever. Again, I like to do like little impacts to show. This is what Dokkan likes to do. Um, so it would just be a little pretty basic super attack. He's a free to play unit. And then Vegeta's, I think his most iconic scene was when he grabbed Goku and just twirled him around and tossed him. I think this would actually be a pretty raw super attack. Um, and then obviously it would just have the water splashing up because he just throw you into the water, I guess. Um... Yeah, so I think Vegeta super attack. I think that the scene of him like spinning would actually look so good in Tokon. And okay, like as long, obviously as long as they do it right, it could look really good. And obviously we have Broly here. He only got like a short scene in the movie, but I did pull from something else as a reference to him. So again, his aura would show up and then he's like charging up. He rages out. And then I actually pulled this animation from Broly's uh the LR Broly Chilai and Lemo T U R. Uh, I pulled that because, well, mainly because, again, it's Broly in the black shirt, which is what he has in the movie. Uh, but also because this animation is literally only used for this TUR. I mean, they technically do reuse the animation for the LR itself. But, like, the, him in, like, the black shirt doing this punch is only used on the TUR for the LR, which, you know, most people aren't going to see. But if they're repurposing it for this Broly, would work. Uh, there is, like, a, more to the animation that I cut off, but I feel like it'd be too long if I included all that. Um, but yeah, so he was just, like, kind of rage out, like I showed, and then just do a punch. Like, you know, you, like, fly up and do this punch. I think is pretty fitting. Because it's Broly. So next, uh, we're gonna get into this Gohan. Now, this one, uh, is actually a unit that's already in the game. We have this base form Teen Gohan that you can get from the story event that's out for... Well, I don't know if it's out right now, but that came out for Superhero. And I think it makes the most sense if he awakens into a Super Saiyan Gohan. Just because that's like the one 
thing we don't have represented at all for the movie so far. There's no Super Saiyan Gohan. Like, and I don't think they're going to do a, like a side banner unit of Super Saiyan Gohan, especially because we have this free to play one that hasn't Dokkan awakened. But I feel like him going Super Saiyan would make sense, especially because the art is actually from when he first like lands in when he finds out Pan's kidnapped and then he starts fighting Gamma 1. The next step would be him being going Super Saiyan. And it's funny because the art is actually pretty similar. Uh, he would just be kind of because here he's like just standing there with his glasses and he would just be a Super Saiyan. So it'd be funny if they use like similar art for when he awakens. It's just him as Super Saiyan instead. And obviously without the cape. Um, but he was kind of standing at a little bit of a different stance though, like a different angle. But yeah, I think this Gohan will become Super Saiyan. And as I mentioned before, the reason I didn't use the Kamehameha from the, from the movie is because I gave it to this Gohan. So he throws off his glasses and then there's the Kamehameha. I feel like that if, again, they could just use this that Kamehameha scene for Beast Gohan or, or Ultimate Gohan. I think it was Ultimate Gohan, yeah. They could give him the Kamehameha and then leave this free to play unit with just like a generic one, like the, again, the, again, like the Broly movie units like, that I keep bringing up. Um, they could give him like a, just a basic Kamehameha instead of like a fully animated one, but I just figured since he's Super Saiyan, it makes sense to give a Super Saiyan the Super Saiyan Kamehameha. So yeah. Next, we're gonna get into story events. This is a se this segment didn't really need to be here, honestly. Uh, it's basically just saying that this story event, I it's gonna update. Like I feel like that's obvious though. I feel like like it makes the most sense, obviously, because this is the superhero. Uh, story event so it'll probably get updated i just included it here because i had it in my other videos uh but here it would just be you know this story event gets updated to include the free to play units and then give a dokkan awakening to that gohan that's basically all it's going to be here for so next let's talk about the next big thing is the easy a's because i can't see them not doing easy a's for this celebration so let's talk about what units could get it so first i think for Dokkan Fest, I think Future Gohan and Physical Piccolo make the most sense. Uh, some people have argued for Tech Ultimate Gohan, but honestly, I feel like he's too good still to get an easy A yet. I feel like he's just too broken of a unit to, for them to easy A him. Like, if they easy A him now, he would actually be like one of the worst e Like, not in terms of usability, but it's just the easy A would do nothing for him. It might even nerf him, if anything, right? It might be like an easy and it makes him worse. But I think just leaving Tech Gohan alone would be good. I think Future Gohan makes sense just because, you know, the movie's about like fighting the androids. Like you're fighting Gamma 1 and 2, they're androids. Um, and he's just kind of one of the next in line units that could get an easy A. I, now they could. Well, actually, I'll talk about that in a second, actually. Um, then I think phys Physical Piccolo just makes sense because it's Piccolo. You know, Piccolo's in the movie. Piccolo should get an easy thing. Obviously, Future Gohan, technically, yeah, Gohan's in the movie, but Future Gohan's, like, different than mainline Beast Gohan, you know? Um, but I just feel like Piccolo, I think at least physical Piccolo easy A here would make sense. But I'm pretty sure when he dropped, he was just, like, a, like, standalone Dokkan Fest Piccolo drop, and he's just been kind of forgotten about. And I think his easy A will be really good, because if you read his kit... If they just give him, like, I think, I don't know, I don't remember what he has. I think he can foresee super attacks is what it is. So if they just give him, like, maybe, like, it, when he gets hit, he builds up defense or something. Or just give him, like, guard or something like that. And then he already stacks defense. So this Piccolo might actually be crazy <laughs> what he easy A's. Um, so I think he would be very fitting for the celebration. As well as future Gohan. Because he's a Dokkan Fest. And I didn't want to pick tech ultimate Gohan is really the answer there. So future Gohan was what I went with. We could also see this Gohan easy A because he's a movie heroes Gohan. The only thing is he Dokkan awakens from the um, the family Kamehameha, like the LR Goku or, or Go Bros is what they call it. I didn't mean to say Goku. The LR Goten and Gohan, the tech one. He Dokkan awakens from their event. So I don't know if they'll give him an easy A if it's not on their easy A because they don't, they don't have an easy A yet. But when they do easy A, they might give this unity like his extreme z awakening by then and not now because he would just kind of be a standalone i mean unless he's like an extreme z area but i think they only do that for free to play no 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 no, that's not true there's summonable units so he could maybe get like an extreme z area since he's like a side banner unit also uh so he could easy a i just feel like he would be a good pick just because he's a movie heroes gohan specifically but he'd be really good support for this but i think 
go uh piccolo is probably the most likely unit i think physical piccolo is like number one in line to easy a here so now the next because there are more units because it's kind of faking you out here there are more units lr gohan and lr cell i've been seeing arguments for this one a lot on tw like online especially on twitter people are saying they think these units could, could easy a here which i will say it is definitely possible especially because it would fit the theme because, you know, it's Gohan and Cell in the movie. It was Beast Gohan versus, you know, Cell Max. And that movie references the Cell Saga with everything. Even Beast Gohan's transformation is a direct reference to this Gohan. The SSJ2 Gohan from the Cell Saga. So I feel like there is a pretty, pretty good argument for them to EZA. The only reason I put them lower, though, is because I feel like that Anna... Because, okay, people were expecting Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo for anniversary. I don't think that's going to happen. And I, like my prediction was always New Year's because it makes more sense if it's both versions at the same time that get Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. That would be the most hype because if they did it for anniversary, Global would have to wait till August, which for the Americas would be a whole year after the movie came out to use Beast Gohan. Like, come on. I just didn't think that made sense. And it would be better to capitalize on the hype now while the movie is still pretty fresh. Um, so... With that being said, I think Anniversary might actually be Cell Saga. Uh, my The biggest theory I have, because they mentioned before that this anniversary, this 8th Anniversary isn't going to be any units that have been like featured, like the, that have been big name units before. So I'm kind of just going off of like the way I'm doing my prediction is just no units that have ever been part of the Anniversary, like part one or two. <laughs> uh, so just no units that have ever been part of the Anniversary. So I think what makes the most sense is a standalone or maybe even like a base form Teen Gohan. Either base form or a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan and then like a Perfect Cell uh, LR. I think that, that would make sense. And then the other part of that would be for part two. Because I feel like the way they're going to do it is they're going to do Dokkan Fest and then Carnival, just like the Worldwide. So we'd probably get like maybe a, like a Dokkan Fest Cell and then a Carnival Gohan. I think that makes sense. And then uh, for part two, it would be future trunks to specific, uh, specifically rage trunks with purple arm merge the mossy i think that makes the most sense if they're gonna say anniversary is units that have never been anniversary units in the past that would be gohan and trunks are like the two big like hype characters i can think of that would be anniversary level because you know every other year we have like a fusion like we've, we've either had gogeta vegeto or a super or a super saiyan 4 unit and even in this previous year like year seven this year we got like basically double Gogeta and then we had again Super Saiyan 4s and then Super Saiyan Blue so and then they were both Gogetas technically so I think Gohan and Cell make the most sense as like the next units that could match up to that hype especially because any other hype moment would be like a Goku and Vegeta right so I think Gohan and Cell being anniversary would make sense so I think they actually might save these two easy A's for anniversary now if they easy A them here then I don't think Cell Saga is anniversary and if that's the case, I have no idea what anniversary is going to be. Um, like, I would literally just have zero clue what anniversary would be if they easy A these guys now. But I think that more than what I think is most likely, they'll save this for anniversary. I think anniversary is going to be Cell Saga and Future Saga. Um, but again, we'll just have to see. I just hope they make Gohan's Transformation Condition better, please. We know it's possible to change Transformation Conditions on easy A. It's happened before. But please, like, let Gohan's be better. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, so I think that they're that that's what they could do for them. And then the next two that I've also seen people talking about are Gogeta and Broly. Which again, we've been talking about their celebration a lot. But that's because it was the last movie celebration. So it's good to parallel them with this one. Um, I also don't think these units will easy get here either. But again, this is just complete speculation on my part. Uh... So I think worldwide next year is going to be Gogeta and Broly team just because it's been, let's see, we got LR Gogeta Blue year five and that was the last Broly movie thing we've had. So I feel like it's, we're kind of overdue, especially for Broly. Like he's been getting cooked. He, he has not gotten an LR yet. The only LR Broly we have from the Broly movie is Chi, Broly Chi Light Lemo. And that's like a crime. They, they, we need a LR Super Saiyan Broly. I think worldwide is the best time to do it. Cause you know, everyone loves the Broly movie. So again, capitalizing on the hype of having these two EZA at the same time on both versions would make the most sense. And then I think a standalone LR Gogeta Blue makes the most sense also, just because you can run him with, you know, this Gogeta, who if he EZAs, oh my god, he's gonna be broken. So you could run him with him, 
You could run him with the year 5 LR who could also easy A. Uh, they could also do it that way. They could just easy A these two now and then just easy A the year 5 units during Worldwide. That could happen also. I don't know. Or maybe even this anniversary. Um... Because, you know, Anniversary, again, I did say I think it's going to be Cell Saga in future, but again, I feel like a lot of that depends on what happens right now, because it's possible that maybe it's going to be Broly, if that's the Anniversary unit, and they'll easy a Gohan and Cell now and save these two for Anniversary. Because technically, Gogeta can't be Anniversary, but I think there's an argument for Broly. Because even though, yeah, technically we got Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo, and that he was like a side banner unit as well, which I, I don't think side banner units are going to count for this argument, though, because they said mainline Anniversary units. So I feel like that would just be the LRs, basically, is what they mean. But I feel like a Super Saiyan Broly, there's an argument for him to be an LR that, for, like, a anniversary. The only problem is it'd be weird if he's not paired with a Gogeta, though. And Gogeta's been anniversary, too, like, plenty of times. So I feel like they're, they're not going to put Gogeta at all, which makes me think there won't be a Broly, but it's possible. We'll have to see what they do. Uh, for me, personally, though, I want anniversary to be OG Dragon Ball, like Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo. But technically, that is Goku. You know, he's been anniversary plenty of times as well, so I don't know if Goku will count. Uh, especially because JP did also just get that Kid Goku from Path to Power. So I don't know if they do two Kid Gokus back to back like that, because they'd have the same name and all that. But we'll have to just see. Again, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, that, was that was the end of the PowerPoint there. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about, you know, my whole concept here with, you know, what I think the units will have. Like their kits, uh, the units we might get. Let me know what you guys think uh, about basically anything I talked about in this video. Like this celebration coming up, which again, we'll know details for it. And like by the time I post this, ho hopefully I can get it out fast enough, which I mean, I'm, I should be able to. I might even, I should be able to post it tonight, honestly. But like the night I'm recording this. Um, but if I do get it out before we get the details, because obviously we're going to have those details really soon. Uh, so we'll see if I was right or wrong about anything i hope that i was at least right about something <laughs> you know? i hope this wasn't just a complete bomb of a video and none of it was right i mean again that's always a possibility i don't really care though like it would be cool to be right but if i'm wrong as long as everything's still hype and fun i don't really care what happens as long as they handle it well which i trust that they will especially because it's superhero there's no way they fumble on superhero you know um but yeah, that's basically it for this video, though. So let me know what you guys think about, like I said, this celebration. And I also want to hear, since I talked about it, what do you guys think is going to be 8th anniversary and also worldwide next year? I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on that, because I'm very interested. Because that's 8 new LRs we have to get. Like, that's a lot, and I'm just wondering what they're going to do. But yeah, thank you all for watching, though. Hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you guys have good luck on your summons. Let me know if you're going for Piccolo or Gohan first. But yeah, till next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.